Hello everybody, today I want to talk to you a little bit and share my experiences with the Strike Industries Mass Driver Comp. This thing's pretty cool, let's get into it. All right, so the Strike Industries Mass Driver Comp. This thing is pretty awesome. I've had this for a little while now and I really enjoy using it. But before we get into the specifics about this thing, uh, go ahead, if you like this sort of content, hit like, share, and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and select all notifications to get more videos from me. Uh, you can also become a member of the channel to get preview videos, things like that, and members only posts. And uh, leave a comment down below, especially if you've used one of these. And I say used one of these because uh, I have posted a couple of like short videos on Instagram and TikTok and uh, people seem to not understand it. They don't know anything about it, yet they have an opinion on it, um, on how well it works. And it works very well. So I do not have a relationship with Strike Industries. I've used a bunch of their products. I like a bunch of their products. And uh, everything I've ever gotten from them has been great. I use their uh, EMP base plates on a bunch of the Glock mags various other things. I love their charging handles, uh, things like that. And uh, this thing has not let me down either. Again, no no uh, relationship. I bought this with my own money. Uh, Strike Industries doesn't know I exist. So I bought this because for the same reason I had bought my agency arms uh, Glock compensator because comps are getting more and more prevalent. Comps are getting more and more common and I want to be educated on the subject. Um, so I went ahead and got this, that way I know what the hell I'm talking about when it comes to this. And it's a cool item. And one of the things first and foremost that I like about it is that you don't have to change your barrel. Uh, you don't have to change your barrel. Uh, you can use your stock Glock barrel or whatever barrel it is that you have in your gun because this connects via the guide rod that comes with it. Uh, if It's a chunky boy. It's certainly a chunky boy. It's inch and five eighths long from the end of here to the end of here. It is no wider than the slide. It actually narrows down a little bit here and it is as tall as the frame and slide put together. You can see that it is compatible with a light, at least the TLR1. Uh, there's a gap there and it functions just fine. So I mentioned the guide rod. Let's take this thing apart real quick. And what you have here is it comes with the guide rod, the spring washer. Inside of here, there's another little spring, which I'll talk about here in a second. The comp itself and the bolt that bolts into the end of the guide rod. Now the way this works is, as you can see, there's a gap there. The way this works is not just to, not only does it have the directional ports here being a total of a hundred, <laughs> but well, one, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, eight. You know, there's there's a potential eight ports there. And uh, so not only is it porting gas, but it is also springing forward like that. And that's that extra spring in there that I was telling you about. So as you shoot it, not only is the gas ports mitigating recoil, but the forward movement of this is also helping to mitigate recoil as well. Now I know some people would see this and think that this is a weak design, right? So far, that's not been my experience. I have well over five or 700 rounds through this um, and it has worked flawlessly. The hole in the comp is slightly bigger to keep from any striking of, I'm gonna, call, I'm gonna say baffles, but it's not baffle striking, but to keep from any striking through or on the crowned end there. And uh, it just works 
really, really well. Now, just like any other compensator, you have to have a holster that will allow for it. So this is my Works M6. It's the holster that I carry with daily. Um, it does stick beyond it. Uh, for, for comparison, the, the uh, Agency 417 dual port, you can barely see protruding past this. This has a full about quarter inch beyond it. Uh, but it fits just fine in there and I would expect it to fit equally as well. I put it in a couple of We The Pupil holsters that have the open bottom and things like that and it fits just fine if it's something that you would want to carry. But a duty, this Fireland 6354 DO, I have modified it for compensators already, which you have to do if you have this holster, but it as long as you get a full press, right? As long as you get a full press, it fits and works fine. If you half-ass press this to where it barely releases, it will catch on the locking mechanism of this. Now for weight, it's, uh, I don't know the exact weight of it, but um, it's, you can feel it. When you get it on the end here, you can feel it, uh, but it is not so much that it makes the gun feel and heavy or anything like that. For accuracy, it does not affect accuracy, at least in my experience, in the least bit. Let's check that out. In fact, for follow-up shots, things like that, it tends to be a little bit more accurate, in, in my opinion, because it's doing, it's doing its job. It does produce less felt recoil, um, in, at least in my hand. And I'm, I have pretty good recoil mitigation to begin with. Um, and this does have a noticeable difference, at least to my hand. Uh, whether or not it shows it on video, I don't know. But uh, when I am shooting it, and everybody I've handed this to, to shoot, they have said the same thing. It's like, wow, that, I can really tell the difference there. Now, is this for you? I don't know. Um, I think it's a cool product. I think Strike Industries makes a lot of cool products, and I think they make a lot of good products, and they seem to bring them in at a reasonable cost. I was initially worried a little bit about it being attached to just the guide rod, and uh, poss the possibility of, of the spring maybe not uh, working correctly, things like that. You know, when you start changing out crap on your gun. And, uh, but I have not experienced any failures at all that are because of this. Now I say because of this, uh, cause I have experienced one ammo failure and that was with ZSR ammo. Turkish ammo uh, where it won't cycle it. So I guess it is because of this, but it cycles everything else. It cycles Wolf, it cycled uh, Hornady 135 grain, uh, Critical Duty. It has cycled Magtech 124 and uh, Blazer Brass, uh, PMC Bronze. It, I'm sorry, PMC, yeah, Blazer Brass and PMC Bronze. Anyway. <laughs> um, it's been a, 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 a really good experience for me with this. Last round. Runs everything else but this. It's a chunk. It makes your gun a lot bigger. Is it for you? Again, I can't answer that. But I do believe that this is a, a, a good product 
that comes in at a good price and uh, if you're looking for a compensator without doing a whole lot of work to your gun, um, like changing barrels and things like that, then this could be a way to go. Normally you would have like a $100 barrel or more, and then you have the $100 comp, whatever the comp is. This comes in at about half the price and you get a very similar or same result. So I will put a link to the Strike Industries website uh, for the Mass Driver Comp down below and in the pinned comment. Again, I don't get anything out of it. I don't have a relationship with Strike Industries. They just make quality gear for a reasonable price that I really enjoy using, have, have had no issues with the stuff uh, thus far. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. If you want to see more videos from me, leave a comment down below if you have any experience with this or if you have any questions. I try to get to all of that stuff as I can. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.